who's ready to start. You, you've been knocked down and got up again. In the corner, you're surrounded, no defenders. Whoa, you, you've hit your fury and kept it in. But it's time now, you ignite and turn to embers. Like a phoenix, you burst in a fire. What's up, everyone? Hello, world. Hello. I ended it soon. Sorry. How's everyone doing? Hope you're well. This is a study session, what we're going to have for my live later. And we are going to go through... God, it's hot in this room, man. Jesus. Come on, man. Getting hot. I love I love the wind. I love summer, though. So I'm not going to complain. not going to complain. Hello, hello, hello. Um, oh, thank you, Reality. Thank you so much. So what I'm doing in this study session is I'm going through all of the interviews that the Proudfoots have done. And we're going to clip things that we think are relevant may have said something else in a previous or after the interview, either or. So if y'all are down for it, let me know. So um, some people like these, some people don't. That's why I did it on this channel. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see here. Um, so what I need to do is switch this account. All right. So the first one that the Proudfoots did was with Dutchie, Duchess Discussion. And I need to give credit where credit is absolutely due. We are going to be using this under 
the Fair Use Act of 1976 for commentary, criticism, and educational purposes. All right. Sorry, I have to do these things. Um, What did that say? Okay. Capture moments. All right. Sorry. I was reading something here. Just need to make sure. Bear with me, guys. One second. I do apologize. Credit Duchess Boy Okay. All right, got that fixed. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go, babios. All right, so credit goes to Duchess. And we are going to be clipping the parts that we think are relevant. Let me know if you guys like find a part that you think is relevant. I do have to play a little bit of light music. So we transform this into our own. Let me know if it's too loud. Okay, let me find it where they come up on here. That's when Trevor comes up. Okay, here we go. Now, I will be fast forwarding it in different areas because some of it, it's doesn't really matter. It just blah, blah, blah. When we come home from having supper that evening. Now, I'm going to be watching y'all because I don't remember pretty much. Brown chicken, brown cow. Brown chicken, brown cow. I'm losing my voice. All right. So let me know if you think something needs compared of something that they said maybe in this interview versus the next interview so i'll know to clip it because i'm going to be making a video of it in a live um he was playing mm -hmm. uh when he went to bed when i told him to go to bed um he had even he said i love you mama and he Flipping. said i love you puppies um a little later in the evening, I myself went to bed, and uh, when I went to wake him up for school, he wasn't here. Now, here she didn't say a thud or anything. She left out the thud. I might come back and clip that. I don't know. Yeah, no mention of the thud. That's the short version. So I'm going to give that to her. I'm not going to be like too picky on that. But we'll see if, if it comes about. And you did tell me that Sebastian is not a runner. He's not. It's okay. Take your time. Sebastian does not have a history of running. He, he, 
I mean, the young man doesn't go outside very much. I mean, everybody in the neighborhood knows him. Uh, um, he is. So that's the one thing that they have stuck to is that Sebastian is not a runner. Hey, all listening. Hey, vet girl. Good to see He's you. Very um, to himself, so to speak. Yeah. Um, between the hours of you know twelve and six, he he has basically vanished. I don't like where he says basically. Because when someone says basic, basically, or they'll say something like yada, 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 or so on and so on and so on, they are leaving stuff, very important information out. Very important information. And they're not telling us what that information is. How would everyone know if he didn't go outside? Well, I mean, I think if he went outside, there would have been some evidence. Oh, hold on. Let me fix that girl one second. English Rose. Is there anyone else that's a mod that's not that I don't have modded? Is there anyone else? Let me know. Oh, oh I got my monetization. I knew that. Uh, hey, Poppy. Dina Lynn. Reality wins. Sorry, y'all. Is re is reality this okay? One second, y'all. I see you. I just sent you a text message. Please check that. Hey, Joyce. Okay. All right. So we're going to get started again. All right. So what we're doing for those of you guys that just came in, we are going through all of these. And clipping what we think they may have said something else in a different interview so we call these study sessions i'm doing this on this channel for now so sorry i'm trying to do 77 things at once so i apologize all right here we go walked out of the house the door was locked and gone he didn't take a phone. None of his shoes are missing. Now, you told me that night that, now, Chris, you were at work. You were out of town at work, yes, so you were not even home. Correct, ma'am. And, Mom, you uh, fell asleep on the couch about okay. 10 o'clock, but okay. you said that's... That's probably something we need to clip, don't you think? Mom fell asleep on the couch. Didn't she say something? Yes. Okay.
All right. One second. All right. He didn't take the phone. None of his shoes are missing. Now, you told me that night that, now, Chris, you were at work. You were out of town at work, so you were not even home. Correct, ma'am. And, Mom, you uh, fell asleep on the couch about 10 o'clock, but you said that Sebastian went to bed at 9 p.m., and then you got up off the couch, and you went to bed, and you said that was around midnight. Midnight. and nothing was unusual at that point. Everything so, seemed okay. There's actually a piece of... So to make something very crystal clear. So that okay. way there's transparency across the board. Here we go with the crystal Me and the clear. mom were on the phone at 9.43 or 9.46 in the evening. We stayed on the phone for quite some time. The call logs have been verified by all the police departments, TBI included. Uh, we stayed on the phone. It was very lengthy. Mom did slightly start falling asleep while she was on the couch. Um, I had said, hey, you need to wake up, put the dogs up, go to bed. Uh, now, mind you, that was right around midnight, just before midnight or right around midnight. All right. So, yes, as crystal clear as possible. Mom fell asleep. Why not my wife? Exactly reality. The question is, did I not? Are you not a mod? Okay, yeah, you are. Okay. Um, Why not Katie? My wife fell asleep. Right. So we clip that part. Let's see if we need to clip anything else. So then mom does go to bed and wakes up early in the morning to go wake her son up, get him ready for school. It's amazing how he is telling her story like he was there exactly exactly so what happened to him being in socks or slippers i don't remember ever hearing that that girl maybe i'm missing something and now we have a worried mom who can't find her son in the house um mom made an effort to look and search several times um it's interesting he's saying mom oh my god you were my first mom you <laughs> you're the first one that noticed jessica and uh you are my first super chat on here ah! thank you so much <laughs> thank you thank you thank you babies appreciate you that's so sweet of you thank you jessica uh do you think that's very sweet thank you again jessica uh do you think they may have put sebastian in the dog pen as punishment um i don't think so thank you guys thank you all appreciate it jessica noticed that's so funny uh thank you miss <laughs> thank you miss ryan appreciate you my love you're very sweet oh need to hold on, I need to fix something right here thank you sweetheart I do appreciate it I need to fix okay I got you there okay oh guys y'all don't have to do that thank you so much miss always right Ryan thank you Thank you, Darcy. Thank you guys so much. You are so sweet. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Yes, that girl, but started to talk at 943, 946. Thank you all. Really do appreciate it. It's very sweet of you. All right. 
Yes, thank you for your support. Y'all are amazing. Mom has called me at the time and asked me. She was like, I can't find him. I was like, do what? And she goes, yeah, I cannot find him. I said, well, hang on. I made the phone call and reported it to the sheriff's department because that's what we're supposed to do. I made a call and reported it to the sheriff's department because that's what you're we're supposed to that's what you're supposed to do. Hmm. Now let me know if I need to clip something, guys. Let me know. Because I don't remember at all. Oh, thank you, Blondie. Thank you, my dear. I appreciate you. It's so sweet of you. Thank you, my love. Good seeing you. Thank you, Amy. Merry monetization. We love you too, Blondie. And thank you so much, sweetie. Appreciate you. Doesn't mention the three-way call. That's a good point. So we need to clip that. We need to clip that. Now, remember, this is his fur. This is their first interview. So this one is, which I have not went over this one on my crime channel. This is a very important interview. This is the first to the public ever outside of, I don't even know if they did it on, they had done anything on the news yet. I think Dutchie was one of the very first ones. All right, let me clip this. mind you that was right around midnight just before midnight or right around midnight yeah. so then mom does go to bed and wakes up early in the morning to go wake her son up get him ready for school and now we have a worried mom who can't find her son in the house um, mom made an effort to look and search several times um, mom has called me at the time and asked me, she was like, I can't find him. I was like, do what? And she goes, yeah, I cannot find him. I said, well, hang on. I made the phone call and reported it to the sheriff's department because that's what we're supposed to do. And within 10 minutes, the sheriffs were dispatched to the location. All right. So. With that, there is no. Oh, thank you so much, Betty. Thank you so much. Uh, pray the FBI gets in on this. I pray, Betty. Guys, I'm worried that. I don't want this to be another Summer Wells case. I see you. Thank you, honey. Where's Summer Wells and Sebastian Rogers? Question mark. 1-800-TBI. Fine. Thank you. Thank you so much. I see you do not have to do that. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, my love. Very good to me. Thank you. The location, his home. Strange way to say that. Yes. Very strange way to say that. And I can't find my son. Hold on. Let me call 911. That's just, that's just not a thing that a normal person does. Okay, God forbid someone goes missing in my house, right? I call my husband, can't find my kid. And he says, he's going to say, what do, you, what do you mean you can't find your kid, right? Uh, and then he's going to say, well, call 911. Not let me call 911 for you. I'm three and a half hours away. Exactly. She should have called 911. Why? Because in my opinion, Chris wanted them to know where he was. Thank you, Miranda. Wanted to know where he was. That's, you know, my opinion. I find it odd that she states she fell asleep at 10 and Chris waited till 12 to wake her and tell her to put the dogs up and go to bed. Makes no sense. 
Precisely. Yes. Precisely. Thank you, Rockin' Robin. Thank you, Sweeties. Appreciate you so much. Very kind to me. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Um, TBI found 11 kids. Has anyone seen any flying pigs? Um, I, well, I can tell you something that the high profile cases, TBI does not have a good track record. Now, maybe of the, you know, the other cases, I'm sure they, they find, you know, they, they've definitely found other children, but I'm just saying it's with the high profile cases. And... Okay. You had told me that there hadn't been any particular situation that had occurred where you felt like there would have been something that happened. And I also had asked you if there were any friends that Sebastian might have possibly left the house with, or if he had any contact with anyone on social media. Do you want to comment about that again? He doesn't have a social media. Okay. Um, and the only friends that he had were a couple of kids in school. Okay. Um, all the kids that have had any interaction with him have been interviewed and asked. So he didn't have social media. Out of their interviews, she said he didn't have friends. Right? Yeah. That's exactly why I think James personally didn't have social media and the kids that he the couple did that he did have okay we we as parents right miss Ryan. um know how social media can be right and seeing how kids can be easily manipulated um he's very young in mind yes he may be but. he's about 15 and he's 15 in age in his body but his mind is not caught up to his body um but that is something that goes through with autistic children, as everybody would know. Right. Um, but for the record, we I am a very strict parent. I do. He does not have social media, not in our household. He doesn't uh, online game. He I mean, I am I'm pretty strict. That, that would He's it, pretty strict in his do that home, kind of right. I'll be honest. I mean, uh, I think it's so. Uh, never mind. I don't want to offend any situation. Well, that's good. That's good, yes. Chris. That okay. that you have control of that because social media can be very dangerous for young kids um, because they don't realize. And absolutely, they- I mean. You know, I don't think, in my my opinion, you know, I don't think it should be a little house on the prairie in your house. But also, I think, you know, if they if they do get online, you need to monitor it and have restrictions on it. Of course, it depends on the age. But it sounds like their family was all they may be it. talking to on social media so it's always good to have that awareness and to make sure you're monitoring you know what your kids are doing so i had asked you both you know did you have any idea what would make sebastian want to suddenly leave the house and you told me well that's the million dollar question that everybody wants to know all the detectives they've all asked that same question what is it that happened now don't forget if i need to clip something that you think they've said something different in another interview let me know um that's the million dollar question and last night whenever i was doing a live and we were covering uh peter hyatt's uh when he was doing his word analysis uh that's when what peter was talking about the million dollar question referring to this interview because why would sebastian want to leave if he left on his own 
and he either left on his own or he was taken out of that home. There is nothing, even the parents say, stepdad, bio mom, Seth, bio dad, they say that there was nothing wrong. Now, I, I don't think the entire, I don't think the house was, uh, you know, rainbows and lollipops and, and candy corn at the house. You know, life happens. But at their house, particularly, I think Chris was the one that dominated and controlled everything that went on in Sebastian's life. And even Katie's, in my opinion, in a, in a lot of aspects. But Sebastian was the one that got the things handed to him, right? So, that's... Yeah, I think there was a lot of things going on in that home. That caused him to leave the house. Um, and I know you must be so worried and so concerned. It was a good day. Is there anything, if if Sebastian were listening to this live stream right now, if you knew that he was out there, what would you want to tell him? That we love you and to come home. I mean... I mean, she pushed that one out. She pushed that one out. I'm sorry. You know, did you have any idea what would make Sebastian want to suddenly leave the house? And you told me, well, that's the million dollar question that everybody wants to know. All the detectives, they've all asked that same question. Mm -hmm. What is it that happened that caused him to leave? People either have to have a reason to do something. We all have a reason for doing everything that we do. Nothing is done without a reason, right? So either A, Sebastian was talking to someone somewhere without the proud foot's permission i don't see him doing that in their home at all and of course authorities have searched scrubbed looked at everything i think they would have found something by now or he was taken out and I believe it was the letter. Leave the house. Um, yeah. And I know you must be so worried. And so Thank you, proud Mimi. Thank you so much, my dear. It's only because of you guys. You guys are so amazing. My my family here, y'all are amazing. Thank so you concerned. all. Truly. Is there anything, if, if Sebastian were listening to we this go. live She'll stream right now, if you knew that he was out there, what would you want to tell him? That we love you and to come home. I mean, it's pretty simple. This boy has a very large family that everybody is asking the question. Where are you? We love you. And please come home. Yes. We definitely need to find him. I don't mind on replays, but on a love. What do you mean, Quinny? I don't know what you mean as soon as possible if you live in this area please search your property every day he could be on the move just because you've already searched your property one time doesn't mean that you don't need to continue to search your property on a daily basis just to be sure if you have a lot of land it needs to be searched it does feel like summer wells all over again it really feels like summer wells 2.0 just vanished but yet 
There's commercials? Hold on. Let me fix it. It shouldn't be. Let me fix it. Let me see if I can fix it. Guys, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Hold on. Okay, I was able... I, I hit a delay button, so it shouldn't... Shouldn't have any commercials for at least 10 minutes. I don't know how to take it off, but I do know how to delay it. Uh, me too, Quinny. Okay. I don't... It's so annoying anytime you, like, you'll go and you get a commercial and it knocks you right out. I, like, please fix it, YouTube. You know, just to be sure, because he may be lost. He may be somewhere and he does he can't find his way back. So that's quite very critical. Can you talk to me about the search and rescue efforts? Are they searching on land, air? They also have dive teams there. What can yeah i mean i have premium i have premium on like two of my channels but on my other channel where i don't have premium added to it yet every time i get like a commercial it'll knock me out and it's so frustrating but if i have on my premium it doesn't i don't get a commercial at all it doesn't knock me out at all but justin in the world justin no, where did you get this channel? <laughs> this is my third channel. Thank Can you, you tell us here. about that? So currently, um, they, as of today, the National Guard was also brought in to help with the search. But they have had fixed wing aircraft, helicopters, um let me know if anyone gets an ad within the next 10 minutes or let me see how many it says now so like seven well next eight minutes you shouldn't get an ad in the next eight minutes at least because i hit a delay button i don't know how to do the horseback ad atv side by by side, um, door to door, scouring every neighborhood possible. Um, I mean, the outreach from the community and okay. various counties has been extremely welcoming, loved. Okay, Mohawk. Next, we'll do. Next, we will do the news one that they did for sure. Proud me, me. Did I say thank you? Thank you, my love. If I didn't, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I mean, it, it, it's... We've been told this is probably yeah, one of the largest searches that they've conducted with so much input that it, it's, it's a case to be studied for sure. That's something so weird in my opinion for chris to say about his stepson you know this is a case they don't know nothing at all you know i wouldn't be out there if someone had my kid i wouldn't be out there you know because the the person the perpetrator is probably watching and saying yo they don't know anything that shit they don't know nothing. This is going to be studied for like decades. This is going to be studied decades, mother chicken. So odd. I'd be like, Sebastian, we're coming for you. You know, mommy's right here. Daddy's right here. We're finding out what's going on, right? You have a lot of people that are praying and supporting you right now. I mean, this wasn't in, this was over 
a month ago this was this ad or this uh live was done so it wasn't too far after was he is asked uh, would he be able to ride a city bus um it's irrelevant nothing is off the table as far as abilities could the young man get on a bus i'm sure he could we've never done it before. we've never rode a city bus so i don't think he understands the process um he doesn't have any uh sense of money he may have like let's say a 20 dollar bill in his hand but he doesn't truly really understand what 20 dollars would get him he's gonna right. dopamine thrill for him to have power over others misery yeah right. i understand um and money and single mom says does he want his real father maybe i'm just asking well it turns out single mom that you know he sees his real father every other weekend and uh the real father uh he is heavily involved in this situation and is aware and he doesn't know where Sebastian is either. Correct. Correct. I mean, I can tell you this. His father's very much involved in his life. I wanted to put yes, on one very much involved in my life. The relationship between all three of us as parents is not your common one. I mean, me and the father talk on a regular basis. We call each other. We talk. Yeah. I got to have the music on for the, uh, fair use act um i think it's odd how chris constantly is talking to seth about you know wanting sebastian to be with him i don't think katie wanted it as much as chris did Chris thought he was going to get his daughter and Sebastian was going to be back over to or back, you know, with Seth. And then it was going to be, I think Katie would have really resented that to be quite honest with you. I mean, I can't say I would blame her really. I mean, you know, you're trying to kick my kid out but it's okay for your kid to live here why can't they both but i don't think seth wanted that i just don't think seth wanted it hey. seth, god god i say that um chris i don't think chris wanted it pardon me i don't think chris wanted that if he heard anything how's he doing is he acting up um you know i mean it's it's not there's no you always hear that hey how's he doing is he acting up it's always like what's sebastian going to do next it's it's the way it feels to me does anyone else get that oh is he acting up is he misbehaving is he doing this is he doing that he's a kid and he's got autism he's not going no kid is perfect no human being is perfect and i bet you probably in my opinion chris acted up more than sebastian right really animosity in between the parents that's good that's good discovering the truth thank you for being here they say did he have any special interest like trains parks friends maybe a school bus route that he loved my son elopes and loves trains so he heads to the tracks he um playgrounds yeah he loves playgrounds i mean he he loves to play i'll give him that um friends wise he wants friends sebastian his idea of his friend is right now is what he has two kids that he talks to at school but he is extremely socially awkward. And so it's very. I just. Sorry. I just completely just exited out of that one second. I was reading Miranda's comment. Wait, Sebastian didn't know much about. 
money, yet they found in his room a little piggy bank he made and hide in his room. They found a piggy bank in his room? I didn't know that. I never heard of that. Hmm. Oh, let me switch. Sorry, one second. Y'all need to switch accounts. All right. We'll pick up where we left off. Again, if you find anything that you think is going to is important to clip so we can compare in other interviews that we're doing make sure you just write uh clip or something like that just a couple times in caps very difficult for him to make friends uh which has been this boy's only lifelong dream if i mean he, he Christmas. What do you want for Christmas? I want friends. Birthday. I want friends. Anything that he could do. That makes me really sad. That makes me really sad. Guys, listen. If you know of someone who is lonely out there, give them a call. Go by their house. Hang out with them for... Let them know that they matter. Just for... Call them for 10 minutes. It will change their week probably everyone wants friends everyone wants to be seen everyone wants to be heard everyone wants to be loved and I am so sorry that Sebastian felt that and it's particularly hard this you know to be a kid nowadays we didn't have social media you and i did not have social media when we were kids most of us didn't even have the freaking internet right now everything is out there everything you know What's the saying goes? You gotta. I don't know. Never mind. I'll think of it in a second. Do to get a friend, he would love to do it, which is potentially dangerous because that could open up doors if for somebody to say, "Hey, I'll be your friend," and potentially cause harm. Justin points are like using money on game oh gotcha and i bet sebastian could do that get extra stuff to build games minecrafts mm -hmm. they close his entire world down they did they did you know i mean we all need to be concerned as parents as general human beings about our safety and the safety of our children, our family, our lives. But also you, you need to live at the same time. Right. And there's, there's ways to do that. Kim Holmes asked if there's any cameras in the area. And I did see, Kim, that they were asking for people that had any ring doorbell footage or any businesses that had camera footage. Talk to us about that, Chris. We did speak about that briefly earlier about the people getting all the footage, but they haven't found anything. Um, our entire neighborhood and surrounding neighborhoods have voluntarily and with generosity given up any video footage that they have they've they've got i mean they have let the 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 departments come in and view and monitor um so as far as cameras 
everybody has turned over everything. There's thousands of hours. Okay. Clip that. The uh, the camera part is that what you mean? Reality. Let me know what you mean. This is what we call a study session. Okay. Cameras in the area. Just. All right. Cameras in the area. And I did see, Kim, that they were asking for people that had any ring doorbell footage or any businesses that had camera footage. Talk to us about that, Chris. We did speak about that briefly earlier about the people getting all the footage, but they haven't found anything. Um, our entire neighborhood and surrounding neighborhoods have voluntarily and with generosity given up any video footage that they have they've they've got and i mean they have let the, the the departments come in and view and monitor um so as far as cameras everybody has turned over everything there's thousands of hours of stuff that they are combing through to try to find an answer it looks like Tish is local to the area. She said, I go to the grocery store or that's anywhere and our eyes are peeled looking for him. I work at a local restaurant and I'm checking cars as they come through the drive through every day. Bless you, Tish. I know this family is very grateful. Um, Discovering Truth says, so he probably knows the route to his father's house. So maybe he was in the process of heading in that direction. Is that that a- has, yeah, that has not been ruled out. Um, see, this is the thing that gets me, you know, and I know there are, there are people on the complete other side of this that believe Sebastian has just walked off or someone got him and I just don't see, I just don't see it. I I mean, I don't see it as much true crime and stuff as we all do. Why would he go without shoes? Why would he leave? I can't, I would think he would be scared after going with a stranger or even by himself walking off there is no scent i would think a camera would pick him up i mean like i said the search that they are conducting is extremely widespread and thorough Mm -hmm. um so nobody is ruling that out as a possibility but normally when he wants to go to his dad's he just says so and we just call his dad. Yeah, I mean, it's dad will come down here. We meet him halfway. I mean, there's this. He's never wanted to go to his dad's and not been able to go. Let's put it that way. So, why would he go to his dad's or want to go to his dad's whenever he's never, you know, been able to want to go to his father's house? and not be able to go all he knows he just has to ask right I mean, thank you thank you for being a member for six months um the, all of this is very very helpful to help us you know better understand the situation that we're dealing with um and i did see a post on facebook that it looked like every Thank you for mentioning that, Jessica. He would go in the direction of the school because they said when Sebastian got in trouble, he would try to go back to school. Okay, so th- I, I've heard that and I've heard that and I've heard that. Uh, thank you so much, Dave. That's so kind of you. I really do appreciate you, my man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really do appreciate it. Um, so this is my question with this. If Sebastian 
would always try to go to his school. Does that mean he's got out before? And I hear the thing of going under the car. Does that mean he's tried to run away before? The school was one of his safe places. Absolutely, I believe that. Does that mean he's tried to run away before? Also, he didn't like to get money. Or, sorry, muddy, not money. He didn't like to get muddy. He didn't like to get dirty. So you're going to get dirty if you get under a car. I can't see him getting underneath of a car if he didn't like to get dirty. Justin, that was when they lived at their old address, him going to the school. Okay. So that was years ago, right? Like years ago. What about he's in or something I heard today? Unless he was scared. I mean, what would I want to know? Did she give Sebastian his medicine that night? Did she give him medicine? Don't hear anything about it. They only moved in that home in 2022, not that long ago. Okay, I was thinking they lived there longer than that. Okay. Hold on. Uh, guys, guys, do not time out Thought Criminal. No, 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 no. What's wrong, Thought Criminal? No, nobody better be timing out anybody for having a different opinion. Do not time out anyone for having a different opinion. Do not. Please and thank you. Thought criminal, what's wrong? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Everybody can have their opinion. Everybody can have their opinion. You have every single right to think Chris and Katie are innocent and Chris would look good with a pink tutu on. I don't care. Right? So... Okay, so I just want to make that clear. All right. Thought criminal. I was just making sure you was okay. Because <laughs> I, listen, my mods are the best. I know that, but uh, just wanted to make clear. You know, I've, I've had, I haven't had, I've got a, I had a mod in the past. This was when I first started my channel. Uh, if this person had, you know, uh, crossed paths with another person uh, that they didn't like, well, they would, you know, time them out because they didn't like them. But, you know, being a mod, you have to be very much, um, you know, diplomatic in how you, how you deal with people just because you may not care for the person or you may have crossed paths then uh you know but it's what it's really what about the creator if if you know. so i apologize yeah i just want papa bear <laughs> i really believe everyone should have their 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 opinion on how uh your mods represent the channel absolutely my mods are they're very welcoming uh and, and, and I, I i do know that probably where most people can in this chat i get that but it's okay if somebody has a different opinion uh, you know when i talk about 
scenarios or something like that what i always tell you guys poke a hole in my theory like because that's how we know right oh well we got to throw that out or fix it because if you poke the hole in it well then doesn't really doesn't really work thank you rage love you too honey okay I'll get off my soapbox now. Sorry. Everybody was asked to wear green on Friday because green is Sebastian's favorite color. Um, what else can you tell us about Sebastian? Love you too, honey. Um, Love you. This, he's an avid Minecraft fan. Um, loves the color green. Um, he's got the goof, the goofiest and quirky smile in the world. <laughs> I, I don't think that right there. I think about when I hear when he says he's got the goofiest and the quirkiest smile. I feel Nina was right about not wanting to take a picture with him because he's, you know, goofy or quirky looking in his words I don't think anybody could could um, mimic it to be honest with you um, he looks like he's such a sweet young man he um, loves to dance that boy can he'll dance his tail off that's hey sure. that's there's nothing wrong with that dancing is good for you it's good at fast well, i did ask you guys because um you know i know that sometimes when we're looking for autistic children that go missing a lot of times people are concerned Thank that you, they may be attracted to go towards the water so talk to us about that is he is he a good swimmer does he like to get in the water i think you did mention some things about that to me earlier um so he he's a fish in the water i'm gonna tell you right now that he, if there's if but here's the distinction he is not a child that likes to get dirty he can't stand his hands dirty he can't stand bugs he is a fearful of flies and things so if he swims he is a pool pool kid Definitely. he's not a i'm a river and a stream should i clip that part what do y'all think he would never get muddy you know he's a he's a pool maybe i should clip that okay I think maybe I should clip that too. 3824. Thirty eight oh two. He's a fish in the water. I'm gonna tell you right now that he, if there's a, if but here's the distinction. He is not a child that likes to get dirty. He can't stand his hands dirty. He can't stand bugs. He is a fearful of flies and things so if he swims he is a pool pool kid he's not a i'm a river and a stream kind of kid he is swimming pool bound okay so it just doesn't sound like he's going to the type that's going to get dirty right seth said he loved plants though Oh, uh, me and Sebastian would have got along so good because I love plants. In fact, this, hopefully this spring and this summer on this channel, I'm going to be taking you guys on some field trips to some of my favorite greenhouses. Uh, and we'll be planting stuff and doing all kinds of stuff. Thank you so much, K9. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. You know, I'm so grateful you love to listen to my voice because if there was one thing I could change about myself, it would be my voice. <laughs> and I've always cringe, absolutely cringe when I hear my voice. 
So I really appreciate that. So if you like plants, stay tuned. I have a, a little greenhouse myself. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Um, Discovering the truth. I'm sure that they are probably looking into that. Now, I know that you said there was some misinformation that was going around <clears throat> and you wanted to make a clarification. You did tell me that TBI, uh, you know, was assisting but that there was some confusion. People thought that FBI was actually assisting in this case. Talk to me about um, what you spoke about earlier to me on our phone call about how FBI is, uh, that they were consulted um, and the card team, um, you know, was, they were, I guess there is a discussion going on as to whether he qualifies um, as, you know, for the child abduction response yeah. team so he the fbi is not physically on the ground uh somewhere in, in one of the news clips i think it was Canadian that the yet. fbi had made it on the ground they're not um tbi tennessee bureau of investigations has reached out to the behavioral analysis team or their cart team and they are trying to work with them from a distance, not they're not physically present uh, to help in, in any way, form, shape that they can render their assistance. Okay. Um, like. His. <laughs> the way uh, Chris words things sometimes it's very word salad justin i have a southern draw that leads uh, to people thinking i am uneducated ignorant uh and being blonde should not help i learned how to be the dumb yeah laney and that's that's what dolly parton always said she uh of course canadian uh she always said she used uh you know, being blonde and Southern and a woman to her advantage. And some people think it can be, you know, a, not being an advantage, but, you know, try to make it to your strength. And sound, thank you for being here. Have burner phones been looked into? I know some teens sneak phones from their parents or maybe his computer. Thank you so much, Jackie. Love your voice and your mature, classy cover. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. it. Means a lot. Truly does. You have no idea, y'all. Thank you. Computer use at Thank school. You so see if he has been checked. Evidence of a secret phone. Okay, good. Good. Thank because you, digital evidence is really important. They want to make sure that he's not speaking to anybody. This is such an unusual case. It's definitely um, unusual. This case is very extremely uh, unusual. Um, like I said before, we are pretty strict when it comes to certain things. Um, as far as comms, communication, electronic devices, mm -hmm. there was only one phone that he had. It was extremely locked down. He had access to his phone, his text message, uh, rage. only his contacts list, uh, a camera, and a calculator, and that is it. He's a pretty happy kid, usually. <laughs> Here, I, I just feel, I mean, sorry if I'm wrong, Lord, but I just, I feel like she's, it's fake. You know, I mean, sometimes I think when she cries, she's, she's genuinely crying, but what is she genuinely crying about? That's what you know the question is what is she genuinely crying about is she crying for her son sure i'm sure of course whether something happened or not i don't think it meant to go it was meant to go this far my personal opinion but is she crying for the situation is she crying just because of all of it being you know being surrounded by all of this 
from freedom, you know, getting caught. Uh, of course, uh, her life, the what it is right now. And all of that. So, oh, thank you so much. Um, thank you so much, Amy. In college, I was told by a professor to, yeah, go to a voice coach to get rid of my accent because I sound uneducated. Guess who still sounds like a chick out of the Goodwill hunting? <laughs> thank you, Amy. You are so loved. You know that. Um so when you get into any type of media or certain jobs, they do want you to, that's why all media, like news anchors, sound the same. Well, good morning. Thank you for, you know, uh, the time now is uh, 804. It is what? Uh, April 15th, 2024, you know, it's sky's gray kind of thing. They, they want like, cause they, they're constantly moving around in media and they don't want you to sound like you're from the South or the North or whatever. Right. Um, I think people from, what is it? People from, I think. You can generally tell people from the north and the south, but like in California, I mean, I don't think people from like California or anywhere else, but like Wisconsin area, you can tell, right? Nebraska, right? North Dakota, not North, well, maybe North Dakota, but like California and like, Yeah, Oklahoma, Texas, you can kind of tell. But have you noticed this? Have you noticed that our children that are growing up, they don't have the accents. Most of them don't have the accents. Has anyone noticed that it's not near as thick as our generation? Right. Josh has a great radio voice, yeah. You know, our my grandbabies do not have accents. Yes, Grace. And it's it's so interesting to me because, you know, my kids are like, like, Dad, what are you doing? You know, or something. You know, and uh, I think a lot of the girls in California, they have like the the deeper voice, you know. I don't, not that deep, but they're like, Oh, wow. Like, nobody moves their face. It's so Botoxed, right? Everything's like, wow. Courtney, you just did not do that. No. You know. Cam, you're in my personal space. I'm not liking the energy right now. Right? It's all, it's all like that. Get me in Botox, and I don't want to move. Have you heard anything about the ha about the house landfill that was on fire? The one in Tennessee? Mm -mm. Oh my God, the Kardashians. Uh, they have been horrible for our society, in my opinion. I mean, it's not that I don't. I just think everybody... I like unique people. I really do. I, I really like unique people. I like people who's not afraid to be themselves, who march to their own drum. You know, I like the people. I like the misfits. I like the misfits, I guess. Maybe that's what it is. Um, lots of vocal fry. It's like, oh my God. God, Kim. The landfill where her home trash goes to goes is it's on fire? The landfill's on fire? <laughs> it 
Exactly, Ryan. You're a Canadian. You don't got vocal fry. Canadians don't have vocal fry. Oh my God, I bet you Chris doesn't lift the damn landfill on fire, in my opinion, allegedly. How does a landfill become on fire? I've never heard of a landfill going on fire. How does a landfill get on fire? What's the landfill called again? I can't remember what it's called. Um, let's look it up. Hey, Smiley. Like methane buildup or something? Well... I mean, it does sound like methane. If you've ever been to a, a landfill. Yeah, the one in Gallatin. Okay. Let me look here. Okay. Is it on the news? I'm trying to see if it was on the news. I knew the... I've never heard of a landfill being on fire. Yeah, you're not the you're not the first one that says that. Brown chicken, brown cow, brown chicken, brown cow, brown chicken. You say brown chicken, brown cow, brown chicken, brown cow. Okay, and I can switch it to another music. This one's called "Feeding the Ducks." That kind of sounds even more like popo -po music. <laughs> I don't... This one's called Night Driving. Can y'all hear that? Is it too loud? We got to be able to hear it. It's still burning. Sounds like a funeral. Can you hear it? Justin, it's landfill behind Big D's business. Seriously? You texted it to me? Okay, Cassie. Thank you, Cassie. Oh, God. Here we go. Look at this, y'all. Let me try this. Look at this. It's, is it the landfill? It's behind the mother-in-law's business. Is that what I'm getting? Is it a business? Sumner County landfill closed. The resource authority 
Landfill located at 625 Rapa Hannock Wire Road in Sumner County experienced a fire earlier today. The city has indicated that as a result, the landfill will be closed until further notice. Hmm. So, I mean, is people going to have trash pickup? Justin, that's Proudfoot's garbage supposed to be. Yeah. This looks like a building, though, right? Oh, it's. It's Kathy's brother's construction company right next to the landfill. Right, SL? Is there a mattress? I'm still side adding those that mattress thing. Okay, so for those of you that just joining us, we are clipping things. It's called a study session. Discrepancies that from one interview to the next. And that way I'm going to make a video. We're going to compare them from hydraulic fluid from machinery. Makes sense. Is there a forest back there? I don't know. So tell me to write a clip if you think they said something in this interview and we're going to go through all the interviews. He seems like it. And I know that you love him. Oh, thank you so much, Debbie. Thank you, my love. Appreciate you. You're so sweet. Thank you, darling. I really do appreciate you. Thank you very much. I know that you, I can remember earlier in our conversation, you you were referring to him as Bubba. And I that's think what that's I, sweet. What I, I call, call him him. Bubba also. So that really tore at my heartstrings because my son, he's 30, but he's still Bubba to me. So <laughs> um, it just that name is. Guys, um, this has nothing to do with anything, but I was just I, I went to. Uh, I was getting my oil changed earlier and it's like right beside a Walmart. And so I walked to the Walmart and uh, I was looking at stuff. And so everyone needs sunscreen. Remember that one thing, always wear sunscreen. But I don't know why anybody didn't think of this before or if they did, I didn't know it. So, but I'm going to tell you. So, you know how some people get uh eat up by mosquitoes and some people don't this is a sunscreen with mosquito repellent i never knew Like my kids, they, they won't even, I mean, they won't even, you know, mosquito, I don't really get bit that much. Seth is asking everyone to sign it for the FBI to take over the case. It's 50 days. Yeah, I'm going to reach out to these people a mosquito with a mosquito repellent that's just amazing have you used this i've never heard of this brand until now but i'm just like wally world yeah people call that Active ingredients. I can't even see. Oh, I can't even. I don't even know how to sound them. I can't even begin to sound them out. 
one two three four it's got five activating it's spf 50. guys make sure you wear sunscreen honestly because it will um not only aid you but i've had three spots taken off my back in the past because i used to have a tanning bed and now if i'm tanned it is from spray tan is trevin here hey trev okay here we go remember it's gonna stick tea. forever it's just how it is cindy caton thank you for being here she says are there any old wheels that maybe he accidentally fell in or any areas no i i don't see deet on it i think it's deet free i don't like the deet stuff I don't know if it's got deed on it's it or not. I, I, I bought it because it's... He, he might be at risk of coming in contact with. I know sometimes those things occur out in Tennessee. Um, the divers, have they have they found any possible leads? Um, I know that I heard that there was a possible pond that they were draining. You did tell me they were searching all of the pipes. Yes. So when it comes to, uh, to, to address her, her question as far as wells and things... I'm sure there's plenty of those around here. Um, They're searching them. They actually pulled data for all the caves, uh, underground voids, all of that stuff that could be accessible. They brought in teams from all over the state that specialize in either cave explorations, um, water recovery rescues. Uh, we don't know that they have drained a pond. I can say that much, but they okay. have... We don't know what they've drained a pond, but didn't he say he drained? They drained a pond in other interviews. I read light skin attracts more than tan skin. Um, so mosquitoes go; they're attracted to light. That's why you see like the porch lights and all of that. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and clip that. We're talking about two things at once. I apologize. But see, my kids, they're dark, you know, they're they're tan, so they get ate up. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back and clip that. 428, 42. Let me see here. 42 to 6. Let's clip this. Old data for all the caves uh underground voids all of that stuff that could be accessible they brought in teams from all over the state that specialize in either cave explorations um water recovery rescues uh we don't know that they have drained a pond i can say that much but they okay. have searched dived them. Dive, they've dived them all for sure they've okay. walked I couldn't tell you how many miles of creeks and waterways and they've used cameras. They, you know, the sewers. Okay. And we do know they've checked all like the drain areas in that area. There's no urgency. It's the Christian. Yeah. There's no urgency. Yes. The retention pond. They said they, they drained it. I don't even know what blood type I am. It, it's not really the sewers they're looking in. It was, the it's the drainage pipes. Nobody, so that, that that's for clarification. Sewer pipes, we're not going to find a child in. Those right. are enclosed and secured. But the runoff, uh, water runoffs, were all searched by a dive team. Okay. And I know Ginger Snap said his law enforcement looking into the possibility that he met a friend through Minecraft. I hope that they would just go ahead and vet all of that just to make sure um, because you never know. I'm not really sure how all of that works because I'm not a gamer, but I know that there are ways that you can communicate. So I, I tried the uh, Johnson & Johnson it's like i think it's called like 
it's in a green thing and it's called like creamy baby oil or something like that it's got in it but it didn't work for me like so via xbox because my son is there is so many crap out there from mosquitoes now now they're breeding the mosquitoes to like kill their the next generation and how they genetically modify them but you know some people they get really you know they're they'll get in like really red and stuff like the mosquito bites and stuff so yeah that was an odd thing to say about drains mm -hmm. but ever since i had limes when i got bit by that uh tick it changed my entire world you do not want anything like that i'm telling you guys please please put on repellent bug spray check yourself every single time you're outside in your yard check your self please do that for me because it really messes you up if you get especially if you live a gamer so especially if you live like virginia up to maine and uh like wisconsin north dakota areas that's where most limes is i mean it's all in, it's in all 50 states but but from like virginia up to maine and then over ohio indiana wisconsin all of those yes no standing water absolutely no standing water yeah it's in all 50 states it absolutely is done it's in all 50 states, but in those particular states, it's really, really bad. Yeah. Make sure you use things. Lyme's L-Y-M-E-S, Lyme's disease. It's, uh, I had undiagnosed Lyme's. It's, I'm so sorry, Sharon. My friend had limes. Okay, died from it. I thought I was dying at times. I really did. I thought that was it. Finally, I went to the Cleveland Clinic and got help. But um, and Gabrielle, I believe that they, you guys were at the Costco on Saturday. That's when you took the picture of him, correct? Yes, my okay. wife was at Costco on Saturday. Yeah, not the shirt Sunday. that's in the flyer where it says optimism was on a Saturday. They okay. were at Good. BJ's on Sunday. Um, okay. And, what and when is it that, comes to... A restaurant or... No, they are all wholesale, uh, like a commissary style stores where they sell in bulk. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so Costco so, Saturday, BJ's on Sunday. Yes, He loves to eat all the samples and BJ. Let me go back and see what that said again the flyer where it says optimism was on a saturday they okay. were at Good. bj's on sunday um okay and, what and when is it comes to a restaurant or clip it no they are all wholesale uh you can communicate like via xbox because my son is a gamer so um and gabrielle i believe that they you guys were at the costco on saturday that's when you took the picture of him correct Yes, my okay. wife was at Costco on Saturday. Yeah, not the shirt Sunday. that's in the flyer where it says optimism was on a Saturday. They okay. were at Good. BJ's on Sunday. Um, okay, and, what and when is it comes to a restaurant or no, they are all wholesale, uh, like a commissary style stores where they sell in bulk. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so Costco so Saturday, BJ's on Sunday. Yes, he loves to eat all the samples and BJ's is new, so I took him. You're a good mom. And when it comes to like the one mention of fun day, right? Fun day. 
more than anything, I pray that this was not, not planned. I pray to God it was not planned. Very fake. I agree, SL. About Minecraft, uh, like I stated before, he does not have any way to come with anybody on, on any form of online gaming. That is re extremely restrictive. We don't allow that because of what can come of it. They combed all of the um, I can tell you this without <laughs> with, with no hesitation. Anything and everything we have given to the police and any other law enforcement to have them completely scan, uh, validate everything, and they are they are currently, I mean, everything is empty. I mean, they they were like, you guys are pretty good. I said, yes, sir. We don't believe in allowing the kids to communicate uh, through social media or through any type. Chris wants you to know that law enforcement said y'all are pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Chris wants you to know that. Of gaming. Uh, looks like missing in USA says, what part, why are they wanting clip? What part Mohawk? I agree. So camera footage from Sunday afternoon, because that we can, that we cannot release right now. Okay, that, is not something that has been authorized us to uh, right. Uh, clip what part? Tell me what you mean to clip. Uh, looks like missing in USA says, why are they wanting camera footage from Sunday afternoon? Because that we can, that we cannot release right now. Okay, that is not I something understand. that has been authorized us to uh, right. put out to the public. And we respect that 100%. Ginger Snap says, I was reading that his favorite song is Eye of the Tiger. That's a great song. <laughs> Sorry, I pressed the mute button up here. I didn't know that. Okay, that just made me think of something. Why, why can't he say anything about Sunday? Why can't he say anything about Sunday? You know what I mean? Yes, I know Seth wanted to prove the life, but at this time, why can't he say this? Listen. 4534. Because that we can. That we cannot release right now. Okay, that is not I something understand. that has been authorized. Hold on. Here we go. To communicate uh, through social media or through any type of gaming. 
here we go. Next, next, next question. Next uh, looks like missing Talks. in USA says, why are they wanting camera footage from Sunday afternoon? Because that. Now, I know Seth wanted that, but this was a month ago. Yeah, but this was a month ago, Mohawk. You know, you see what I mean? Like this was before even we can, that we cannot release right now. Okay, that is not something that has been authorized us to uh, right put out to the public. And we respect. Why can't you put it out to the public? Why do they want video from a month ago? I mean, why did they want video from Sunday, rather? Right, Mama and Five, yes. Expect that 100%. Ginger Snap says, I was reading that his favorite song is Eye of the Tiger. That's a great song. <laughs> he, he's got an eclectic taste of music. He is a, he's a fan of Eddie Vedder. He oh, likes... Well. He's Survivor. Great. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's young man has a very eclectic taste in music. Like, and you told me that Taylor he Swift, loves uh, to play chess. Carrie Underwood, the disservice, have an ability to actually call 911. Yeah, you could pick one up off the shelf at a store and most will call. Yeah. that it, That's become a federal thing. That's not a a, a service provided. That is like Thank a you, Chris. Thing. Move along. Right. And restrict safety features even if we could. Yeah. Safety safety is not restricted in this house. Exactly. Okay. I do have one other question before I before I read what was his is saying. Um it was something I was going to ask you. Um Let's go ahead and do was his question right now. Um, Shackle Island Road and New Shackle Island Road, are they in the same area? New Shackle Island Road um, runs, par runs parallel to Long Island. Old Shackle Island Road um, is actually farther directional. I don't know anything about this shackle. Only it would actually be south. He's talking about in front of the hospital, the Hendersonville Hospital. That is roughly, I think, four or five miles from our house. Okay. I was looking at stuff about Hendersonville the other night. If any of you guys know anything about country music there's an old country singer named conway twitty and he died rather young he had like twitty park or something there his whole family lived on the compound but they had like rides and all that stuff there because it's right outside of Nashville. Twitty City, that's what it was. Twitty City. That's what it was. Twitty City. I've been to a place, I think it's in Tennessee too. Maybe it's in North Carolina. It's called, I think it's called Tweetsy or something like that. It's been so many years ago, but Tweetsy Railroad or something like that. Okay. Okay. That single mom, that's your favorite song too. Now, something I do want to ask. He's the one that's saying, you want a man with the slow hand. Is that the one? Is that the one you're talking about? Ask you is because I've been, I've been watching social media because that's what I do. I share missing cases on lots of different social media platforms. And I was very disappointed when you told me that people were harassing you and attacking you. Um, is there anything that you want to put to rest while you're here tonight or make clear to the public about this situation? I know you told me there was a statement that you wanted me to make um, about you and the mom and the dad. 
So if you want to make any clarification about that, you have free reign to do so. We will not allow you to be disrespected here on this platform. Um, it, I, I, I have no malice or ill intent toward anybody. Everybody has an opinion. Of course. Um, but what is factual is that the father, the mother, and I myself cannot sing. have been extremely cooperative. We have been vetted. We have been checked out. We have been... Okay, we're going to clip this for sure. 48. Forty-eight, come on. Forty, here we go. Three, two. Is that the father, the mother, and myself have been extremely cooperative. We have been vetted. We have been checked out. We have been questioned and everything of that nature. And literally have been cleared. There is no wrongdoing. There is no negative input from the parents or any of the family you know um and i it's hard for a lot of folks i mean there's i i will be honest and say this out loud i have a custody case that is currently going on in another state which has been brought to public light because people feel that they so this is the first time is this literally cleared he sings hello darling i thought that was george jones that's george jones who sang i don't know you're a rock and chair that one isn't it? want to judge and think that they understand what's currently going on and they don't because of that, I am being looked at in a very foul, oh, foul that's way. Um, I, hmm. I don't need to repeat anything that's being said, but, right, you know. I am a huge Tammy Wynette fan. Huge Tammy Wynette fan. Love Tammy Wynette. Um... Uh, I saw them in, I think, 94 or 95 or something like that. And George Jones, he was, they were all on tour together. It was, I even, who else was it? I don't remember if it was George Jones or Willie Nelson Jr., whatever his name is, Willie Nelson Jr. He was drunk as a skunk and just sat on the stage and drank and just pretty much cried the entire time. It's terrible. <laughs> it was at a fair, like a fair thingy. He was drunk off his ass. But and people it's that are, okay. there's people that's probably seen it on social media. He stopped laughing her today. That's what it is. Yeah, and I want you to be able to have the opportunity to defend yourself. We have 248 people watching right now, and I'm sure that anyone that's watching this on the live stream, um, please respect this family. I mean, you can't have an idea of possibly what they are going through, and it's really not any of your business. You know, it's no big deal. So, um, of any involvement in Sebastian's disappearance. And I just wanted the public to be able to hear you. Well, they haven't cleared anybody. They haven't cleared anybody. And does anyone know if Mr. Proudfoot has checked? Okay, check my has taken his lie detector test. Everyone's talking about Chris this, Chris that. I don't want. Oh, wow. 
missing in Georgia, police searching for two young brothers who suffer from mental illness. A Maddie's Call statewide alert has been issued after two young brothers have been reported missing in Georgia. Calvin 14 and Christian 14 Sanchez were reported missing from their Forest Park home on Friday. The Clayton County Police Department shared information about their disappearance over the weekend. The mom says her sons left the home without permission. Christian is described as having black hair, brown as five foot two inches tall, 85 pounds. His last seen wearing black and white t-shirt, black pajama pants, and black Crocs. Calvin has black hair, five foot seven inches, 150 pounds. He was last seen black long sleeve shirt, rust brown pants, and white and gray Crocs. Let me send a picture here. Right here. There's a photo of them. Oh yeah, Don. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't believe for a second Sebastian left on his own. Period. 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 Has his special needs as well, and, and for that. we've covered a case on my channel involving her child in the school system here on my platform. Um, so Miranda is a very strong advocate for kids that have special needs and them getting fair and equal treatment. And she says, how is his skills on walking around on heels or without a trail? Because my son would stumble if he had to step over a one inch rock or any form of incline. So, I mean, does he, is he able to walk good? Does, I mean, how is he able to navigate on his own? I mean, does he, is he able to walk? What about the missing five-year-old boy and his mother? Thank you, Alabama Mama Four. Thank you. Um, is it is what it is in here? Does anyone see is what it is? Let me know. They were found. Oh, good. Thank the Lord. Okay, so we're. Let me know if I need to clip anything, y'all. Can you hear me? They may have cut, gotten cut out with their Wi-Fi service. So if you need to come back. Can you hear me? Okay. That's like a Verizon commercial. <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear I me figured now? you might have lost right. signal. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. We're, uh, it, we'll, we'll figure right. it out. We get it back every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand. I understand. He's, um, he's he's high functioning. I mean, he's he's fully able to hold a conversation, and he walks. And oh my God, Princess is late. Give Princess a late slip. Be gentle. Be gentle with her, Mons. But give her a late slip. Cannot. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable to be late. Unacceptable. Just kidding. And he loves to run. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. And Rhonda wants to know if he has a special button on his phone. Uh, no. On his phone? I don't. Thank you, Trevor. Okay. But he doesn't have his phone. Yeah, and he left his phone at home, so he doesn't have it. Was his says, I'm local and I'm trying to get a direction. Thank you. And says something about exit five. Are you guys close to exit five? No. Well, that depends. You can access off of what they call uh, New Shackle Island Road, which I believe is exit six. Mm, yes, I uh, see. Thank you, Mrs. Clem. 
Yeah, I believe it's exit six and exit seven will be in Indian Lake. But uh, as far as the special button on his phone, um, I'm not sure what you mean by that. <laughs> yeah, me either. And I know Discovering the Truth said that, you know, her child was able Thank to you, get around phone. the the security system that they had kind of set up on the phone so they couldn't access the websites. Well, Katie works for a security system, and so she doesn't even have a security system in her house, let alone on her phone or on his phone, right, Katie? An emergency button. I've never heard of an emergency button. What's an emergency button? Thank you, Miss Arian. Thank you. Uh, to that it was locked and apparently he got around it and okay. was able uh, to access it. it. And I guess that's kind of what they were talking about, um, you know, in a couple of texts in the chat. So that's what I was trying to address because a lot of the people that come to my streams, they have children that are also autistic. So they deal with a lot of situations and they may can understand some of the things that you may be have you know be dealing with at this moment i can only imagine right, what you're going through not knowing bit. where he did they say anything and so are aware even if you lock down your child's phone some children can actually turn their phone into safe mode which would bypass the parental locks and then allow a child to go on the internet you're on safe mode you can't go on can you go on the internet in safe mode and it's you, you can't see nothing on safe mode can you am i wrong i'm trying to look at my radar interesting Need to have Katie do her own interview. There is a way to block Katie's that. Do anything um, you would have whatever. to look that up. That's too much in deep and depth to go into. But no, I mean, when I say we, we're strict, we lock it down. We lock it down. Okay, well, that's good to know. David Bryant, thank you so much for being here. David says, hey, one question. Do you think he would have stuck to roads? Or do you think he could have went off into the wooded areas? That is, that's hard to say. We don't really have. I mean, how would, I don't even think he would know how to do safe mode. All I can say is um, every avenue is being searched regardless of woods, roads, anything. Everything that can be searched is currently being searched. Reckless Ellis, thank you for being here. Reckless Ellis says, I'm not saying he did this right, whatsoever, exactly. but I did see a screenshot from Facebook where he yelled at the news and told them to get off his property. Is there any truth to that? Well, Reckless, I'll let them speak for themselves, but if the news was on my property, I might yell at them to get off my property. <laughs> so, Not me. I would invite him in and say, what do you need? Thank you for covering my child. Can I get you some coffee, some tea? Oh, I have not. I have not spoke to any news crew that have been physically on my property. I have spoken to a news crew that was down the street and just asked them politely, do not film my house. They mm -hmm. were filming the police doing something and that was perfectly okay. They gave me the word. We shook hands and politely moved on. So... Mm -hmm. No, I mean, as far thank as yelling you. at the news, no. Okay, well, thank you for clarifying that. I hope that helps, Reckless Ellis, and thank you so much for being here. Um, let's see. Um, that's right, leave it to Bieber. These are real people. Focus on the missing baby. Exactly. Thank you for being here. That's so very much. Um, Jennifer Jennings, thank you for being here. Jennifer says, how long has he been married to the mom? Isn't he Seth's son? Who is searching for this boy, mom, dad, or who? Well, it sounds like there's a lot of people involved, including the mother, the father, the stepfather, um, and law enforcement. Um, 
when you say how long has he been married to them are you referring to chris on panel Julio, thank you so much for being here. Chris always treated my girls and son with nothing but kindness when we worked together. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here, Julio. I know that probably means a lot to him. That's right, Jennifer. I think everybody is searching. It doesn't sound like there's any. The family, uh, the moderators can show you to the door. He had his struggles with doing basic, simple things. And I mean, it was a constant reminder, a constant this. And, and all three parents have been extremely positive and, and Constantly trying to get him, like, hey, we got to do this, bud. We got to do that. Take your phone. Take your phone. Teach him to, to, to be responsible and to think about it. You know, and then um, Julio, I can contest. I mean, we work together out in San Diego, so he's amazing. <laughs> I think that's wonderful. Um, Let me just take care of something here in chat real quick. Um, Jennifer, I appreciate you being here. We welcome all opinions, but we're just, it, how long he's been married to the mother is irrelevant with Sebastian being missing. So I hope that you have a wonderful night, but respectfully, I'm going to have to remove you from chat because it's a distraction. And we are focused on talking about Sebastian and about his case. And I hope you have a wonderful night and please come back again. Okay, let's get back over here to the chat. I try to, to not get distracted. <laughs> when we have these situations, but we just don't have time for that. Um, I'm not going to allow disrespect and share this out because it helps to get Sebastian. It's different for every kid because there's such a spectrum. There's such a spectrum. So that's why we have, and I see Burton Staggs here. Burton, thank you so much for coming. Up. Answer some questions. Does he have a lot of energy? Does he like to go on long walks and things like that? Actually, off his medicine. Mm. 105 25 one second y'all on walks and things like that especially off his medicine mm. well I really would like to left, right? get a billboard up for Sebastian and I think I had mentioned that to you earlier. Do you think that this might be something that would benefit and put forward to it? It's, you know, we've looked at that in, in plenty of cases and you and I have spoken about that, spoken about that before. And let me know exactly what you would like it to say. Did you just send me a cash app? <laughs> Cold case crystal. This is the bill. that you guys want to share with us that you think that we need to know about the circumstances involving Sebastian going missing? Is there anything that Everything that we've covered so far? I mean, is it exactly everything that we've covered? You know, we just met, we miss him and we want him home. Exactly. So be home. <laughs> Trev, I like your voice, Trev. Mods, thank you for checking um, the chat. Alan, we're definitely not going to tolerate that. So, um, he you have a person well. like, like uh, is here is, um, law enforcement goes and talks to these people, guys, I've known plenty of families in these situations. Of these are saying that there is no sign of foul play. He has been missing and he is still. Missing. And I want to give them a safe place to be able to come here. The FBI is trying to find where they're talking. It just, it doesn't help. Started a reward for him for Sebastian. Now, Janeth, I appreciate you being here. How did they know he took a flashlight? Well, I asked that very same question today, and I was so glad that Sebastian's mother explained it to me because when I read that news article, I was like, well, how did they know he had a flashlight? Do you want to tell us about that? Put this right here. One of the first things that was asked is um, because he left when it was very dark outside um, was if he might have taken a flashlight. And um, he actually has one that he, he plays with regularly, and I can't find it. Mm -hmm. So it's likely that he took it. Okay. Jason asks, thank you for being here, Jason. I clipped uh, that Does part. he have anything that he holds on to? Anything that he has to have? I clipped that part. He might have taken a flashlight, but she can't find the one flashlight. 
Yeah, he took a light, but no shoes. Exactly, Lisa. You took a light, but you didn't take shoes. Well, if he took a light, then that means he's likely to have walked off by himself. So if he walked off by himself, why didn't he take shoes? Not buying it. I'm just not buying it. Have with him at all times. Something that keeps him calm when he has it. He has. Wasn't it actually almost a full moon? Yeah, yeah, I clipped that. I clipped that, so. Various fidgets that he changes out and plays with. Have you noticed any of those are missing as well? Honestly, it'd be impossible to tell. He plays with paper clips and pennies and Legos. Things that several could go missing and it wouldn't be noticeable. Please put some green hearts and prayer hands in the chat for this family. Because today is seven days. And it, this is a critical time that we need to come together and stop attacking the family. If you can't do something productive, like just sit on your hands or something, I don't know. And Trev, I do appreciate all that you've done. Trev has been sharing information every day. He has been doing live streams and you guys definitely need to connect. I will put you guys in touch with each other um, because he's local to Tennessee. And I know that he will be able to help in any way that he can. It, and we will definitely connect this now. week and we will. Um, I don't know how we'll get with Chris. long it is now. Keep, keep sharing his picture. Keep sharing his story. Keep sharing his. Um, whatever we can do to try to help your family, please reach out to me and let me know as we can. I really appreciate you doing you know, want to talk to you and um, just know that our hearts are with you. We just want to say thank you to. Was the first interview that he did day 50. Thank you. Um, the first interview that they did. It's not the hands video. The, the hands video is the second interview, right? So that's one we'll do next after this. Everyone who's working with us to try and bring him home. Everybody for all your support and your prayers and your love. You are more than welcome. You are more than welcome. That's what we're here to do. Is we're here to lift each other up. It takes it takes a village. It takes a village. And that's that's what we have to do. We're just here to help each other out. And um I really just appreciate you um being willing to come here and share Sebastian's story with us. Lost and, in the sauce. Um, we'll be thinking of you and uh, continuing to pray and share. Was whipping him for forgetting a belt helpful, Chris? No. For his information. And I'm going to let you guys go because you've, you've been up here for over an hour and I don't want to keep you any longer. I want you guys to go take care of yourself. Remember to take care of yourself. Make sure you're eating and getting enough rest. Time. But I, I'm praying that you're going to get answers. He's, he likes to. He loves being around the family. He loves, I mean, just being a kid. He's not very outdoorsy. Well, that's understandable. He's not very outdoorsy. He's, he likes to. He loves being around the family. He loves, I mean, just being a kid. He's not very outdoorsy. Well, that's understandable. And that's okay. Everybody has their comfort zone. I'm not a people in person myself, y'all. I kind of like to stay to myself in my own house where I'm most comfortable. Um, so I'm just hoping that some. I'm just hoping that somebody's going to see him. Don't forget, if you live in the area of Sumner County or the surrounding counties, if you, you know, he might be scared. He's probably stay strong so they can get the. You guys just keep praying. Listen, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. And I will put Trev in touch with you. All right. So that's all of that one. WSMV. WSMV4.
let's see here. This is it. One month. Nope. Okay. Family discuss. Speak on teens. It's longer than four minutes, though, isn't it? to us exclusively how they feel on day eight of their son's disappearance. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Arius Payton. And I'm Arius Bear with me. Okay, there we go. Got it. All right. Okay, hold on one second. Let me look online. W S M V Rogers Parents Interview. Hmm. All right, I found all the Here we go. Here we go. Blurry. Oh, there we go. How would you describe the situation right now? How are you coping? <laughs> um, <laughs> We're on a constant roller coaster ride of helpless and hopeless, and many other emotions all in one. And it's a never ending roller coaster, it doesn't stop. It won't stop until he walks through the door. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. Not anyone. I know we're about keeping hope alive. I'm sure that's in there somewhere. Oh, yeah. He's gonna oh, come home. He's going to walk through that door. <laughs> and this street will be flooded again with family and relatives all waiting to hug and love him and that boy's gonna have more friends than he knows what to do with <laughs> when he comes home uh that was hard whenever y'all weren't home forever so here we are eight days now searching for him walk us through that sunday night that he went missing so walk us through we've got so many people who really want to know okay how did this happen? So kind of just walk us through that night. Um, Remember? We were out and about that day. We were having a really good weekend. Um, okay. Should I clip this? We got home. I should probably clip this part, shouldn't I? Talking about the day. Would be him. Yeah. All right. Can Seth get FBI on the case? Um, uh, mm, I don't know if he can particularly, but perhaps. Uh, everything was pretty normal. He was playing in his room um, when I told him to go to bed. He did. 
<laughs> um, okay, say good night, mom. I love you. Um, say good night to his puppies. A um, little bit later, I wound up going to bed, and um, when I woke him up, what was so funny was there? there? So, in your mind, what, that's usually around what time? Six. When do you normally wake up? Around six o'clock. So, were you instantly thinking something's wrong, or were you like, he may just be already in the shower? I took in a the second. Room. I took a second and walked through the house looking for him in case he'd gotten up and was trying to get breakfast or something because he did that sometimes. Um, about three minutes in, give or take, I was on the phone with my husband. I said, I can't find him. Um, he said, what do you mean you can't find him? I said, he's not in the house. And so at that point, is that when you call 911 or what's going through your mind? She, while we were on the phone and I was, I was like, is he on the other side of the bed? We, the normal places he may be in the house, you know, and he wasn't. So I was like, okay, well, hold on a minute. And immediately after that, we called the sheriff's department and made the report. I and, ran all over the house, outside, inside. I and, looked in every closet. With minutes, they were here. They responded within minutes and here we go. So you said you were on the phone with her. So yes, you were not home. No, ma'am. Okay. I was, I was at work. I'm a tower crane operator and I was working in Memphis at the St. Jude project. So it's, you know, I have an earpiece in that talks to my phone. I have another earpiece in that does the radios. So when she was talking to me, it was like, what? I was confused. We talked about where he could possibly be, and then we went from there and led to calling the cops, and here we are now. Within minutes, there they are at the home. Yes, ma'am. It was rapid fire. They had cars. <sighs> they they had cars from here down to the, to the main road, road, as far as I could tell. So what's going through both of your minds? I mean, are we panicking? Is it this, oh, I think he's probably at a neighbor's house or what are you thinking? My son doesn't run, he's not a runner. He's never run away before. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why he walked out that door. To me, that's an odd thing. Why I don't know why he walked out that door. How do you? I, oh, I clipped all that. I clipped all of that, every bit of it. Why? I don't know why he walked out that door. It's a little low. You might need a your volume up a little bit I noticed that as well yes me too Anna me too all right let's continue I don't think we're all done I mean, with him. he's a good kid he's not he's not a mischievous child by any means um, but there's answers to questions that have no answers, you know, or questions, excuse me, questions with no answers right now that we are searching for desperately. And we just don't have that. Folks. Oh, God. Okay, that's number one. Now let me find number two. WSMV. I just had them all pulled up. Okay, part two. All right, here's part two. Folks, oh, we're going to win re election. Yeah. I need you by my side from the very start. 
of anything that happened that day that you think back and th there might have been a reason he was possibly upset or something outside that could did it have enticed him to go outside was there anything that came to mind we've been combing over that day and even the weeks before he left and i don't i haven't been able to figure it out he's um that morning he was laughing he was joking I just now noticed that that morning he was laughing. He was joking. What, does she mean? Everyone we were around that day agreed that he seemed like. I'm just talking about the day before. Or did she catch herself? Why weeks before? Mm -hmm. He was in a good mood. He was behaving make more sense if we'd been fighting or he'd been in trouble but he hasn't been in trouble <laughs> so, I mean, I, the million dollar question why did he go and the other million dollar question is how I'm going to clip Chris right here because I need this screenshot Screenshot. One second, y'all. Bear with me. No, oh, but I want the full page. I need this for later. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> okay. It's a good screenshot of old Chrissy Poo. Can't see his arms. All right. What about social media? Is there anything that, you know, anyone he could have contacted? I understand he was somewhat of a gamer or what was, he, there was a video game he loved, right? <laughs> Minecraft, yeah. he loves Minecraft. Um, the, the game that he has is not online. He has the, the, um, switch um he's we don't because of how social media can be he doesn't have accessibility to communicate with folks on the internet, on internet. i mean i we have a firm belief that we just don't feel that right now that he's capable of having that kind of responsibility so i mean he his phone is locked down his computers his game he doesn't have a gamer tag he doesn't have online capabilities with games um i mean it, we've um we've combed every electronic every electronic i mean we've cooperated with all the authorities as far as anything they've asked us to provide we've provided and still just don't have any answers did he have any yeah you can get online with the switch possibly contacted him in some way on his phone all his friends at school have been questioned to my knowledge and none of them knew anything. This big question mark. He's vanished. Yes, ma'am. No one can figure out where or why. Um, all right. So let's talk to you about first interview relationship involved because they're the biological father is very much involved in Sebastian's life as well. Yes, ma'am. Very is. much. Right. Um, and, and how would you describe that relationship, the two of them and the four of you? It's relatively good. I mean, we talk regularly. He talks to his son on a regular basis, sees him on a regular basis. He's involved in school and therapy. And um, I mean, 
he doesn't have any extracurricular activities, but I can tell you now, if he did, he'd, his dad would be in the front row. <laughs> um, his dad would be in the front row. I mean, two different households. And the communication between the three of us is, is great. I mean, yes, we're just like every parent. We all have our disagreements, but in the end, we come together as a team and we work and we come up with solutions that as we best see fit. I mean, he's, I'm almost in contact with him almost daily. Um, let's talk about Sebastian. Tell me about Sebastian. I don't think, I don't think it's bruised. Sweet. Personally. Stubborn. <laughs> um, he loves to help. He loves uh, running and he loves to play his games and his fidgets and um, Uno. Lord, that's one of his favorite games right now. Who knows um, one of our favorite games, too? Favorite color is green. Um, Does he love music? Oh, God, oh, he loves music. An eclectic taste. I mean, an eclectic. I mean, from, as, as everybody knows, Eye of the Tiger to Eddie Vedder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we got, we got Pearl Jam on one hand. We've got Survivor on the other over here. We've got Taylor Swift and... Uh, He's got a big crush self soothing. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I mean, country rock. No, classic. We, don't, we don't. We don't allow the hip hop. Well, he, he doesn't really well, get I into it anyway. We... You mentioned he loved running. So, did he love the outdoors at all? I mean, would something outside that was somewhat outdoorsy be enticing so, to him or pull him outdoors? He loves like. When, um, when we were in California and the school had this lap thing to gain money, it was a fundraiser. And every year he was, I did this many laps, I did this many laps. I mean, I've got t-shirts where they would ride on his back. Every time the kids went around, they'd mark a mark on the back and they'd keep running. And he just had marks all the way across his back. Um, he likes playgrounds. Um, he hates oh, yeah. being dirty. He don't like dirty. being dirty. Doesn't like not, being dirty. He's not your tomboy style child where he goes outside and plays in the mud. He loves animals, but he's terrified <laughs> of bugs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to clip that. Animals, but he's terrified. <laughs> he's not your... Um... He hates oh, yeah. being dirty. He, he don't like being, being dirty. dirty. Yeah, he's not a he's not your tomboy style child where he goes outside and plays in the mud. He loves animals, but he's terrified <laughs> of bugs. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah. even a fly, and he's like, oh. <laughs> Falcone second grade class. Your dedicated Cintas oh, service reps bad. will provide the essential. One second. I want to clip that with Katie. He's like, ah! I mean, yeah. even a fly, and he's like, oh! I mean, yeah. even a fly, and he's like, oh! 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 Sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> he's like, ah! 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 <laughs> I'm so immature. Okay. Part three. As she rolls her eyes. All right, here's part three. 
needed that laugh. Good. You gotta find the funny. I know you all have described him as having a form of autism. He does. But just describe that to our viewers too, as far as his way of thinking of things and maybe how determined he was about certain things or his mindset. He, um... <laughs> he, he's got a stubborn mindset. If he believes it's this. He gets on a one man track and he is just yeah. on it and he is all about it. <laughs> um, but I mean, he's, he's very smart. He's I mean, he, he can play chess. He, he can beat adults in chess. Wow. So he's, he loves, 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 loves playing games. What about navigation? Like, Cause he's 15. Do you think he could have possibly even hitched a ride or gotten a ride on a bus or some sort of transportation? That is a speculation that we don't have an answer for just directionally he knows he could guide you from our house to his dad's house yeah he could get from like this house i think he can make it up to culver's ice cream he can go to culver's well, the boy loves he knows malt. where culver's <laughs> is because culver's has malt uh -huh. he loves malt extra malt every yeah. time extra malt now how far away does his dad live clarksville his dad lives up by clarksville so he could guide someone all, all the way to Clarksville. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. So a pretty keen sense of direction, at least with certain things. Uh, if, familiar routes. Yes. Familiar routes. Okay. Familiar routes. I mean, if I took him another route going he this takes way, he it. would not know it. He goes up there so often that he knows he knows how to get to his daddy's. We know that. His dad works with him as far as, well, we're going this way, we're going that way, and mm -hmm. keeps the same thing, and it works out. Mm -hmm. So... Um, Let's talk to, because earlier, Chris, you and I were talking and you were saying that there are a lot of people who are harassing both of you. What of any of that do you want to address? What, what do you want to say to any of these people? Just that you don't know. And I don't wish you to ever know. I would say it like this. Everybody has an opinion. You know, it, and it's perfectly okay to have that opinion, but you're not in this situation. You don't quite understand. Um, I wish people would step back, take a different wide open view and not assume what they know. It's just better to stick. I don't know what malt is either. I was wondering they questions. All they have to I was wondering the same thing. What's malt? for ice cream do his ask and I pray genuinely that no one ever goes through this what's malt for a shake malt powder what's malt powder malt is a flavoring I've heard of malt in like I think it's whoppers like the Whoppers. Yeah, like the, the milk balls. Like Ovaltine. Malt powder in the ice cream. Okay, it's like a malt milk powder. And I pray genuinely that no one ever goes through this. Just be kind to people. I mean, that's, that's real simple. There are... The man says, be kind to people, but a frozen, but a frozen version, they freeze it? How do you freeze like a powder? You freeze like a powder? I don't wish you to ever know. It's like a fresh custard. It sounds good. But 
he's like be kind says someone who whips a child for forgetting their belt some people who have been talking because i know this is part of the harassment um is there anything you want to address about this child custody situation <laughs> the previous so i have a, a current case that is going ongoing in another state um we've requested that case to be sealed because there are some individuals who have taken upon themselves to put stuff out there that they don't quite know which all they have to do is ask, I'll tell you. Um, but because of that, you know, it has nothing to do with our son. It has nothing to do with the situation. You know, it, I just, people would respect that and then keep an open mind. It's totally different. Is Sebastian, is that able to watch this? And maybe he's watching this as it airs. And if he is, what do you want to say to Sebastian? What do you want him to hear from you right now? Oh, gosh. That we love you so much, and we want you to come home, and you're not in trouble. I guarantee you he is loved. And trust me, me the open too. arms are waiting for him to come home. From every parent to every family members to probably everyone in the community. There's no malice that we just want our boy home. Bad. Bad. But that mama's heart. You're not in trouble. Daddy's too. But I feel like there's always that extra special bond. Can you walk us through what you're thinking right now? I just want my baby to be okay. I don't know where he's at. I don't know where he's at. Did he say no malice? I need to keep I'm thinking I'm malt. I don't. Know. Know. That mama's. From every parent to every family members to probably everyone in the community. But there's no malice, and trust me. The open arms are waiting for him to come home. From every parent to every family members to probably everyone in the community. But there's no malice that we just want our boy home. Bad. Bad. But. Why does he look at her and laugh? Hard. I know it's daddy's too. But I feel like there's always that extra special bond. No malice. Can you walk us through what you're thinking right now? I just want my baby to be okay. I don't know where he's at. I don't know where he's at. Let's talk about the community because I want you all to know. Even even my church. Right. I mean, we're all praying. We're all praying for his safe return quickly what do you all want to say to the community thank you with everything from the bottom of our hearts we i would not have imagined how far this has gotten but there's no way to repay the gratitude the love that we have felt from the community the prayers but thank you but from don't stop looking yeah, please my son is somewhere Right now at Dutch Miller's Beckley Auto Mall, get 2.9% financing for 72 months. And don't forget, every brand new vehicle comes with Dutch. Okay, there is that. Okay, now we need. Shit. One second. Uh... How many parts is there? Part three. 
interview part four. Okay. I found it. Exactly. How about you start looking, Katie? Folks, if we're going to win re-election, uh, I need you by my side from the very start. So we have, let's, let's mention, it's going to be the, the search itself, because we know thousands of miles have basically been traced and retraced. We've got hundreds, we've got volunteers, we've got law enforcement from within the state, and without, you know, outside of the state. Um, I mean, do you feel like they're doing as much as they can? I mean, you, you've been... You all have been right there in the front seat, seeing everything that's that's underway. As far as I know, they're doing everything. Anything and everything has been an option. They have brought in assets and resources from various counties, potentially other states. I mean, I don't know how much more they could do. Oh, thank you, Jamie. Thank you so much. Have done. So sweet of you. Thank it's you. Amazing that they still haven't brought my baby back. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? He's out there somewhere. So it's basically, it's one day at a time getting through this and bringing him home. Yeah. What is the reaction to the fact that somehow he, his, his image, he has We're going to do the hands interview next. I know that it was very dark that night. I mean, it gets dark around here at night in general, but... Um, Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, please. So far, we haven't found him on any camera footage to prove where he's at or where he's gone. I know that they're looking, and I went asking everybody and anybody that has cameras, trail cams, stores, um, <clears throat> to check even from before he went missing, just to see if there's anything at all. Thank you, Chantel. I understand there, there was a request for video, any sort of footage of Sebastian from earlier in the day, on Sunday, before he disappeared. That I don't believe we can comment on right now. I don't, that is not something that I believe we're pervy to. Pervy? You're not, yeah. You're pervy. You're pervy. We're going to clip. I went asking everybody and anybody. That okay. Clip this. One second. Pop this up. So far, we haven't found him on any camera footage to prove where he's at. Or where he's gone. I know that they're looking, and I went asking everybody and anybody that has cameras, trail cams, stores, um, <clears throat> to check even from before he went missing just to see if there's anything at all. I understand there, there was a request for video, any sort of footage of Sebastian from earlier in the day, on Sunday, before he disappeared. That I don't believe we can comment on right now. I don't, that is not something that I believe we're pervy to at this point with law enforcement. That is something I would have a definite direct back to them. But I mean, they, there's all kinds of requests out there. There's thousands of hours of video that they are combing and we're just hoping they'll find something. I don't know. This is so. Sensitive. Why can't he talk about Sunday evening? This is the second interview that he says he can't talk about Sunday evening. Why? Justin, it won't let me send a super sticker. I'm not 18. I don't know. It asked me, is this for 18 year olds or not? And I had to put yes. Yes, he's pervy. 
Chris is definitely pervy. Sensitive. What do you say to people who inevitably, inevitably end up pointing their finger back at you? We were talking earlier. And I mean, Perfect. are you both in the clear? I can tell you that mom, myself. Hold on, I gotta clip this. I can tell you that mom. What do you say to people who excuse me inevitably inevitably end up pointing their finger back at you? We were talking earlier. And I mean, are you both in the clear? I can tell you that mom, myself, and the father have worked very fully and cooperatively with all agencies across the board. We have anything that they've wanted, we have provided. Um, so cooperation is there. I mean, what do you want to say to our viewers? Anybody who's watching, we've got a lot of folks in this community and in other counties, just throughout the state as well. What do you want to say to them? Help spread the word and keep searching and thank you. And um, just if you think you see him, call him in. I think all the viewers, everybody that's helped from across the board. I mean, everybody has been tremendous. Call his name. Yeah. He'll answer. And if he doesn't answer, he'll at least, he'll look. Even if he's not being verbal at the moment, because he can talk. But sometimes he don't talk. <laughs> um, call his name. Tell him to stay put. He could be on the move, so keep checking your properties. Yes, like the search is never over until he comes home. That is for sure. So smart. But thank you for everything that everybody has done, has volunteered, uh, the continuous efforts. I mean, it's like I said, this is I've never seen something to this magnitude before. Our community is amazing. We're all praying, hoping, and searching for Sebastian's safe return for that day. Thank you both for Thank talking you. with me. All those tears are going to clear up now. Okay. Now what interview? The hands interview? Does anyone? Oh, oh no. I, I might have it here. One second. Okay, hands. I found it. Never mind. Someone just sent me something. Thank you, my love. Justin, why would Katie... Why would Katie said she asked for camera footage even from before when she... Even before read he went missing can you go back to that uh she just said um oh thank you canadian cookie because i love you just i love you too canadian thank you sweetheart i appreciate you so much um that part uh he was talking about sunday they were talking about Sunday. You know, can you talk about Sunday? And uh, they wanted footage from, you know, around the time, I guess, he went missing. And he said he couldn't talk about that. But she said even before just to see, this is Katie, what she said. She said uh, Sunday or before just in case to see if there was anything strange that happened days and weeks before which makes no sense 
in my opinion whatsoever but still it's it's there all right now we're going I need to clear out some of these one second here's the hands interview There was a Thank you for that uh, Canadian cookie and always late. Thank you, my loves. Appreciate it. This is from Fox 17. We yeah, have it on file, just your both your first and last names and spelling. In my opinion, I don't want to speak for, I'm just telling my opinion. I don't think this anchor believed them, in my opinion. Katie Proudfoot, K A T I E. Proudfoot, P R O U D F O O T. Chris, C H R I S. Last name's Proudfoot, P R O U D F O O T. So, I mean, first, just. I don't know why just hands, because this was their second interview. They've already seen their face. I don't understand. His parents, that. tell me what the last now over a week has been like for you two. Horrible beyond words. Um, this was an experience that I would have never dreamed would come, honestly. I just, I can't put words to how hard this has been and how much it hurts not knowing where my son is, where, where he's at, if he's okay, just horrible is the best thing I can say. What about for you? It's rough. I mean, we're on. It's rough. What about for you? It's rough. It's rough. It's rough. Day 11, no answers. And the horrible things that people say just keep rolling in, regardless of taking time to consider the fact. No, this isn't the this isn't the one uh, with the arms. This is the second interview that they did. The first interview was the was the arms. Some you know assumptions is what they're going off of, but you know, for us, it's we sit here and we wait, we wait, and we wait, and hopefully we'll get an answer. Or no wedding ring on that one, which would be amazing. A lot of people's brought that I was up. I say how badly. Do you both want Sebastian to just walk through that front door to get that call? I'd give anything. In a heartbeat, I would give anything. There's not, it's not measurable. Let's put it that way. There's no measurable. Anybody says all oh, it is. You've never sat in these shoes. You've never been in this situation. And I don't ever wish for people. Hold on. What was that? Justin, the behavioral panel analyzed them after their first interview. I thought maybe that is why they did the hands. What did the behavioral panel do? Nothing. What did they do? I didn't watch it. I, re I don't really watch them usually. The finger tap. And then the constant rubbing. Just constantly rubbing. And he's constantly tapping. Pervy. Yeah, pervy. Same thing. Figured. I'm telling you, I am so, I, I think that in my opinion, the behavioral panel, they, they won't say anything anymore. I don't know if they're, you know, they don't want to upset their sponsor. I, in my opinion, they don't want to go too far one way or the other because of sponsors. 
I'm just saying, in my opinion, allegedly. I figured, but she, yeah, they said Don and Candace, the same thing too. Well, to be in this situation. And what, what's Sebastian like? What's his personality like? What does he love to do? He, for the most part, is happy. He likes to laugh and joke and tell you all about everything and then some. Um, He loves games. Uh, He loves video games. Um, He loves to play with his Legos. Um, Even building things uh, with me. We we build little projects here and there, but... um, He's um he's always a character. I think they sold out. I agree. I think they sold out. Are there any like weird tendencies that he has that might be able to help people find him in this search? I don't know how helpful to finding him, but he fidgets <coughs> constantly. He loves shiny pennies, paper clips. He's always like uh Go look at them, their old videos compared to now. If they're still up, they should be still up. Uh, Whenever we go to the grocery store, um, he always looks on the ground and looks under the register counter. And he's always looking for shiny pennies everywhere. Um, Paper clips. He loves to bend them out of shape and play. Peter will say it. Um... Deception detective will say it. Um, Pat Brown will say it. Those are the three that I look for. Play with them, fidget with them. Um, He loves playgrounds. I mean, we've said it before. He likes fishing and and things like that. But um, cats, boy, loves cats. He does. He he loves cats. That he has that might be able to help people find him in this search. I don't know how helpful to finding him, but he fidgets (coughs) constantly. He loves shiny. Oh yeah, he does. I don't know how. What was her question? There, but um. Do. She scratches. He. And what what's Sebastian like? What's his personality like? What does he love to do? He, for the most part, is happy. He likes to laugh and joke and tell you all about everything and then some. Um, he loves games. Uh, he loves video games. Um. He loves to play with his Legos, um, even building things uh, with me. We we build little projects here and there, but um, he's... Um, Chris scratches. He's always a character. Are there any, like weird tendencies that he has that might be able to help people find him in this search. I don't know how helpful to finding him, but he fidgets <coughs> constantly. He loves shiny pennies, paper clips. He's always like, uh, whenever we go to the grocery store, um, he always looks on the ground and looks under the register counter and he's always looking for shiny pennies everywhere. Um, paper clips. He loves to bend them out of shape and play with them, fidget with them. Um, Fingers keeps. He loves playgrounds. Um, I mean, we've said it before. He likes fishing and and things like that. But um, cats, boy, he, loves cats. He does. He loves cats. It's his favorite animal. <laughs> um. I don't know. He's just. He's a good kid. 
There are no leads, nothing caught on video. Your son has been missing for 11 days now. How does that make you feel as parents? I don't think she believes them. I just don't get the feeling. I don't want to speak for her or anything. I'm just giving my opinion on how she views, like the, the way I sense. I don't think she believes them. Parents. I I mean, I don't have words to describe how I'm feeling right now. I mean, I... Every day is harder than the last. I mean, we're out, we're looking, we're, we're trying to make sure that everyone stays looking and doesn't let his face fall to the bottom of a feed or or get covered by some other nonsense i mean i just we just want our boy home when you walked in monday morning and didn't see sebastian in his room what was your gut reaction my very first reaction was oh he got up and got breakfast <laughs> um but right, when i I'm realized gonna... he actually I'm going to clip this part right here. Your gut reaction. My very first reaction was, oh, he got up and got breakfast. <laughs> um, but when I realized he actually wasn't in the house, I've, never experienced sheer panic in the way that I did. And basically for every minute since that um, not knowing where your child is, is a pain that um, I've never, I've never known pain like this before. And walk me through the events that happen, you know, from Sunday leading up to Monday when you didn't see him that morning. Sunday, uh, we were out and about. We had a, a really good day. We were out um, doing our thing, running around. You know, we had dinner that evening. And when we came home, uh, we had a pretty good evening together as well. Um, he was playing right up until bedtime and then some, I let him stay up. They had a pretty good evening, pretty good evening. Katie told this woman, Sebastian was not in the house yet. She said Chris was not in the home to Nancy. Katie told this woman Sebastian was not in the house. Yet she told Chris, but she, yet she said Chris was not in the home. I don't get what you mean. Up a little late. Um, and when I told him to go to bed, you know, he's like, I love you, mom. I love you, puppies. And, uh, he went to bed and, um, I don't believe her when she says he, he went to bed. He went to bed. He never went to bed. In my opinion, never went to bed. He went to bed. He went to bed. Don't believe it. I went to bed around midnight. Everything seemed fine. And uh, when I went to wake him up for school, that's when I... I couldn't find him. He wasn't in his room. And he wasn't in the house. And that's when I panicked. And when you panicked, uh, what did you do? First thing I did was call my husband and um, I said, he's not here. 
My husband said, what do you mean he's not here? I said, he's not in the house. And he said, you know, immediately just started, you know, did you check here? Did you check there? Did you look here? And uh, I ran through the house. And um, at that point, I was hysterical, for lack of a word. And uh, we called, we, we three-wayed the, um, the police. And um, I'm within minutes, they were here. I couldn't tell you exactly how long. I know it was fast. Um And we haven't found him. When I got the phone call that he was missing, um, like she said, we asked questions of where is he at, check this, check that. And then we called the sheriff's department. I called the sheriff's department. I stayed on the phone pretty much most of the time. Um, and then I, while I was at work, I asked for a relief, got a relief. Got in my truck from Memphis and made my way to Nashville. And that was, I guess, Monday? The morning that he was missing, yes. Okay. And um, so what was your reaction when you got that call from your wife that Sebastian was missing? Initially, I was like, oh, he's he's goofing around again. Here we go. He's like hiding. And then when we talked about the places to check and he's not there, I was like, okay, stop. Instantly. Call the police. Instantly. I'm a black and white kind of guy. I, so. And to your knowledge, he didn't take shoes with him, right? He locked the door on his way out. Or I guess, what are some of the things that you think he did as he left? We checked for all of his shoes and none of them are missing. Um, the door was locked and what was there some discrepancy as to what he was wearing when he went to bed or what was he last seen wearing? What what was he wearing to bed that night? When he went to bed, uh, he was wearing black um, sweatpants with white stripes down the side. And he had on a black long sleeve black shirt with a print on the front. I'm pretty sure it was one of his... Um, uh, like Star like, Wars or Halloween or um, or even Minecraft. Yeah, those yeah. are the three main that's things. That's the three things that he's majority is on his clothes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but he has his flavors. <laughs> and obviously, you guys are going through the unimaginable, and then you know, getting a lot of like the kickback that you've seen on social media. I mean, how much worse has that? made it for you two to go through something like this honestly um we we we, we stopped looking home. at it there's a lot of terrible people in this world and i don't want to waste energy on any of that i want the focus on finding our son Oh, thank you so much kate on the inside thank you my love sebastian had online access kids now know how to work all of this stuff and he would at school gaming with his dad in Tennessee part of part of TN is online right gaming with his dad is another part of TN Right. You mean like, um, she means monster part of TN. What do you mean, TN, babe? With his dad is another part of, I know what, but I, I don't understand why I'm confused about. I know what TN means, Tennessee, but. What do you mean? How does Tennessee online have to do with it? Who is we checking? Gaming with his dad is another part of TN is. Is caged in. 
Thank you, Caged on the inside. Um, but yeah, he was with his dad more so online with his dad. His dad gave him more freedom, Seth. She's saying his online gaming with his dad is another part. Yes, that is true. He only gamed uh, by his dad sitting. They played together. They played together. Chris doesn't commit to Monday morning. He says the Mon... Yeah, he says that in every interview, though. In my opinion. He's it. Uh, Justin, she means playing games with his dad from their perspective. Home, so if they played together when Sebastian was his mom's, they would played online how would you not know what your kids were at bedtime at night yeah there were some discrepancies there Chris also said got the truck in Memphis have we played that part yet? I can't remember. Didn't they change what he was wearing? Yes, they did change what he was wearing. Yes. The facts are the facts. I mean, the, the police know the facts. And all I want, all I ask of anyone is if they're able and willing is to help find him, help spread his flyer, help look for him, call in if you know anything or see anything. But we just ask that people focus on finding Sebastian. And he's never done anything like that before, right? Just kind of walked out of the house. He's not a runner. Um, this is this is not normal for him to run away. Um, if, I mean, I just, he's, no, he's not a runner. And any places, I guess, I know you, you guys have been told to stay in the house, right? Just in case he comes home. We, we are doing what we've been asked to do by the law enforcement agencies and everybody involved. I am not going to divulge anything more than that. Yeah. But if you, what I'm trying to ask, I guess, next is if you were to go out and search right now, if people want to help search, what types of places would you guys look at that he can maybe be at? Anywhere and everywhere. The, at this point, there's... It's been 11 days. He could be anywhere. Yeah. They've searched the woods. They've searched parks. They've searched creeks. They've searched... At this point, it, it anything and everything. Anywhere Just that he could search. be staying out of the weather or or getting food or i mean honestly at this point he could genuinely be anywhere how hopeful are you too that he will come home i will never give up hope on finding my child optimism is at its highest our, regardless our son is out there we're gonna find him and now just, I mean, publicly, like obviously police are now investigating a landfill. People are speaking out about that. What are your thoughts about that? Everybody has an opinion and their assumptions and they are entitled to those. But as I've stated before, all we've asked people to do is to look at the facts, not what everybody's putting out there. If they have questions, call the law enforcement agencies. And they'll give you whatever they can give you. But the assumptions are just that. They are an assumption, your opinions. We pray for everybody. For hopefully this never happens to you. And if it ever does, then you'll understand that I pray it doesn't. 
and they're doing their job. They're looking everywhere they can for my, for, I mean, their goal is the same. We just want to find him. If you could say something to Sebastian, if he's listening right now, what would you say to him? I would say that we love you and we miss you and we want you to come home and just know that that we all care about you so much. You're not in trouble. That door's unlocked and waiting for you to come home. Your puppies miss you. Your family misses you. I miss you. Just come home. Anything else that you two want to add or clear up? Or that door's unlocked. That door's unlocked. Sebastian supposedly locked it back. Didn't he? Anything like that. Okay, just help us find our son. You're not in trouble. Was he in trouble before basically Chris and Katie are saying don't it mm -hmm. yep yep the door is unlocked for him Oh, what did Cage say? I want to answer. What did Cage... What do you do with that? Heads up, Justin. There is a bunch of vultures flying around. They found Elijah's blanket. So, uh, Tara, they found his blanket uh, a while back ago, honey. But... Or, early in the investigation. Let me check my source and see if she's messaged me. Oh, you said Elijah, right? Yeah, nothing on went and got the truck in Memphis. So who took him to his truck? Was that on this past interview? Do you know where he's okay? Let me go. Let me go back to that. Let me go back to that. Hands. That's interesting. Justin, do you know there's another man door? If he knew the code to get back in it, wouldn't the door be open? <laughs> you would think when he asked for a relief person. Ah. Um.
stays looking and doesn't let Chris. It's when Chris never first starts basic... talking. I've never known pain like this before. Up to Monday. We had dinner. Um, he was going to bed at midnight. He wasn't in his room. And, um, you know, immediately at that point, I was luckily, that's they were. And then we called the sheriff's department, asked questions of what he was missing. They were here. I couldn't tell you exactly how long. I know it was fast. Um, and we haven't found him. When I got the phone call that he was missing, um, like she said, we asked questions of where is he at, check this, check that. And then we called the sheriff's department. I called the sheriff's department. I stayed on the phone pretty much most of the time. I stayed on the phone pretty much most of the time. Your family misses you. I miss you. Hold up. Aren't you part of his family? That point too. Kind of reminds you of Jesse Vu when she he messaged Katrina and said, I'm going to have him hate me. She said, I don't want him to hate you. I want him to respect you. He considered himself not part of the family. There we go. Let me find um, and then I, while I was at work, I asked for a relief. Got a relief. Got in my truck from Memphis and made my way to Nashville. And that was... Got in my truck from Memphis and made my way to Nashville, is what he said. And then I, while I was at work, I asked for a relief. Got a relief. Got in my truck while I was at work. And while I was at work, I asked for a relief. Got a... Asked for a relief. Got a relief. Got in my truck. Got a relief. Got in my truck from Memphis and made my way to Nashville. Got relief. Got my truck from Memphis. Got my truck from Memphis. Got my truck from Memphis. Got my truck from Memphis and made my... Well, Nashville and Hendersonville. I'm going to clip that. I probably already clipped it, but I want to have that as a separate clip. I stayed on the phone pretty much most of the time. Um, and then I, while I was at work, I asked for a relief, got a relief, got in my truck from Memphis and made my way to Nashville. And that was, I guess, Monday? The morning that he was missing, yes. Okay. And um, so what was, was your reaction when you got that call from your wife that Sebastian was missing? The morning he was missing. Yes. What if he didn't call the sheriff until around 6.30? Why would he have to call for a relief? He, he was not working night shift. There is no night shift. 
who did he add a relief from? You get it? I don't get it. Don't get it, y'all. It's weird. Horn Lake, Mississippi to St. Jude is 20 minutes. Why would he even go to work? Alibi, alibi, alibi. I really believe he was home Sunday and left in the middle of the... Something's up. He says apparently he had to wait for someone to turn or leave him. But that would have been. Exactly nice, Marie. Well, he does work in Memphis. But she said she was driving around 45 minutes straight. She doesn't say that. But. Okay. So. Let's think about this for a minute. She wakes up. She wakes to get him up at 6 o'clock. Right? 6 o'clock. What time does the call go through? No one was on the site. I don't remember. He was coming from... The 9 call was at 6... Six what? Six thirty-three. So at six thirty-three, she had to be in her car at six thirty-three because she said in one interview that hurry up, get to the house. The police are coming. When there's a billion dollar project and you are the main creator brothers, you make sure everyone is working. Yeah, you have to get a relief, rather y'all know that or not. Okay. Hmm. Craziness. Guys, I've been on here three and a half hours. I'm going, we're going to wrap this one up. We will finish this tomorrow. How many times do they say you're not in trouble? A lot, Erica. A lot. Did we confirm that the same, where was that? Permit schedule. Have not fully confirmed that yet, but from what I have read, what the, business told me that's very close to them that they do not work nights and they have not they or sorry i don't know if they didn't work nights but they did definitely didn't work weekends thank you thought criminal thank you so much thank you all for being here i appreciate you all this is my first monetized live on this one i really do appreciate you so much from the bottom of my heart um the boy stayed in trouble apparently feels like that way erica thank you for getting me not thank you all i'll see you guys around soon i might do that might do that sin don't worry about it we'll get it thank you thank you thank you thank you bridget thank you all appreciate you thank you to my mods appreciate you thank you poppy 
Good night, guys. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.